I mean, some people probably do kind of ask it out of like genuine curiosity, um, but I think for the most part, it's kind of like a, a lack of um, lack of seeing streamers or whatever as like people that can enjoy other games. You know, I I mean, I get it. I I appreciate it and I, I i understand people enjoying things for different games like don't get me wrong i understand people enjoying my thoughts on certain champions or like reactions or whatever but what i'm saying is i need them to understand that i don't like leak you know and i like other stuff that's what i need them to understand Like, for example, I love Pokemon in her League of Legends era. I watched every single Pokemon League of Legends video, every single League of Legends video of hers. And I watched Loser Fruits for Overwatch. They were really big streamers that I enjoy watching. This, I say that's not big, they're, they're really big streamers that I enjoy watching for those games. Both of them went to Fortnite. I can't stand Fortnite. I hate Fortnite. I. Do not give a fucking shit about Fortnite. But I understand why they went into Fortnite. As a genuine viewer of theirs from their videos and all, I understand why they quit League and why they quit Overwatch for Fortnite. And I'm happy for them that they went into Fortnite. Would I love them for to play Overwatch and League of Legends? Absolutely. I would love to see them play those games again over Fortnite. But I understand like that's not what they want. They they enjoy those games. They they enjoy Fortnite, right? Um, let me go. Match of progress. I thought it was shit, but it's high average, I guess. Um, uh, just do this. Um, so because of that, I would never really ask of them, like, when will you go back to Overwatch, or can you please come back to Overwatch, or will you ever go back to League, you know, because it's like, when it happens, it will happen, but like, you know, for, uh, Pokemon did play League of Legends recently, but she only played it because of new genes, but like, she's, she quit League for like, six years or something, so it's not like... <laughs> it's pretty clear she's not coming back to League of Legends, you know, it's pretty clear. I mean, yeah, it's because I don't really like Fortnite, it doesn't interest me. I, I watch Pokemon in, in offline TV and doing other stuff. I, I, don't, I watch her sometimes for variety. I'd rather watch her play like Little Nightmares and Fortnite. Bye to play protocol, love that for you. I love that antler. Oh, I should be putting them together. Why am I spinning them out? I'm so stupid. Oh my god. I guess we do this. 
Once I focus is nice. I, like, I don't have to worry about like leveling up at certain things. I mean, this looks so similar. I know they're in the I'm too for that. Um, I am flopping. I am losing. So I'm definitely not making this look simple. <laughs> and um, I mean, I should play around the meta, but I find playing around the meta really boring. I should just do Giant Slayer, a more flexible item. I don't want to like pitch and hold myself into 80 or slash AP. What do you mean your mouth is just assaulted, Sila? Vanquish, I don't have a front line. You know what? Maybe I'll just do this. I don't need Ionia, do I? I can get out of way with it without it. Hello, yeah, how are you? I've been ashamed of ages, how are you going? I'm doing well, how are you? Just kidding, I'm not, I'm losing my games. I'm flopping, I dropped 100 LP. Drop frickin' 100 LP. One sleech, 100 E. Oh, what is a CPD shot? The only CPD I know is... Melbourne Central. I don't even know why they call it CBD. Now that I think about it, Central or something. So back in TFT, I'm in bronze. I was in silver last season. Oh, more TFT players. <laughs> Fuck this guy. CBD's weird. Oh. I'm so excited to know you live set 10. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> what happened to Hayana? I don't know her. I fear the K-pop industry kind of turns around um, bitches very quickly. I remember playing a lot of Maple Story to this song, I, I feel like. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's roll and actually stabilize. If I remember correctly, march of progress, you could only really realistically, realistically like do seven cost rolling. Cause it's hard to get eight. What the full watch? Honestly, I'm playing flex. Why not? Bubble, bubble, pop, pop. The way they just gave me all the tank items. I mean, this is Sedge, if, or whatever. Sorry, stream scene. Um, I mean, I do definitely have my nostalgia moments with Maple Story, but every time I play it, I just get reminded that like Maple Story is better in your head than actually playing Maple Story. Like starting out on Maple Story is all cute and all, and then you like remember like why you kind of stop. This is so pretty. Thank you. They're really dry and chopped right now. <laughs> But yeah, every time you go back to Maple Story, you kind of get reminded like, oh yeah, I'm kind of like farming for no reason, I fear. Like, why am I playing this Maple Story? And it's like, Maple Story is like a single player game, honestly, let's be real. Now, like you don't even play with other people. Like you get stronger and for what? Like are you trying to like do most damage in a game? Cause like there are people that will always be higher damage than you. And if you're playing for yourself then... I guess you're just farming to get stronger and that's about it I guess. It's giving Genshin but like... It's giving Genshin without the story. Like, I know they, they fleshed out Milk Story story and all, but like... Who, who the fuck cares about Milk Story story? <laughs> Raids with friends. Let's see. But that's so far away. Who's even gonna be that level? Yeah, we're not gonna get level 8 with much of progress. It has to be a reroll 3 cost. I need to decide on who I'm going. And I don't even know who the hell I'm going for my 3 star reroll. At this point, I guess 
still see my own effects. I feel like I was meant to like save a lot of HP by being strong, but I don't really have a strong. I didn't have a strong early game, I fear. Come on, 10 billion fucking tank items. I'll put this on Scion. Scion can guarantee to get like 40 stacks. At least I got this search too, thankfully. But yeah, we are going for 3 star, 3 quest. Golden ticket? Freaky Friday. I don't even know who my damage is. I'm not even going her. I am getting confused, I fear. Okay, uh Fuck the Vanquisher. We can go strategist magic. Silco Tarek. Are we aiming for challenges season? Um, we were, but mm, we're not good enough, I fear. <laughs> Very inch, I fear. What the fuck is VR on my backline? Like, what? What the fuck? I have this for VR. I don't know why I'm not using it. I guess it's because I'm rolling for the other shit. 
This Ari would actually be perfect for me, so I can get rid of this goddamn Zion. If this game gives me another tank item, I'm a fucking riot. I'm a fucking riot. Um, maybe this augment's fake or something, cuz... What the fuck is this? What the fuck is this? Like, I love a good front lane, like, I love a good tank, but like... Where the fuck is my damage? Like, where the fuck are my damage items? Like, we're not playing League of Legends, this isn't Tag Meta League of Legends, okay? Like, I understand like, it's Tag Meta League, but mama, like, we are... Like... Well, we have Raptors coming up, so... We pray. With golden ticket, maybe we can get to three star four cost. Maybe we can just chill here. Maybe we're strong enough to just chill and get level eight. I need this scion to get me more gone, I guess. I mean, I'm winning these rounds, surprisingly. So, maybe it's not the worst thing in the world. Well, not the worst thing in the world. The attack is stopping. Oh. Why didn't you say anything? Why didn't you say something sooner, huh? Why didn't you say something sooner? Lies, kitty. Skiving fake. You're not a real one. You sabotage me. <laughs> Just kidding, love you. I really believe in her. I'm just gonna go for th four, three star, four plus. No. And I don't have Vanquisher for Nila, so I don't really think. The game only giving you tag items, I know. We're rolling hard. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's do this to help us out. Thank god they added this shit. Don't get baited by anything else, this is the only thing we're getting. And added my tag, sure. That's all we're going for.
party. Um, I don't even know if we care about Arya at this point anymore. move it, the sniper's focus onto her now. Right. I actually thank god for this team plan, I think. It like really helps you like see what units you want. Otherwise I I'm like usually very slow. What happens if I get an emblem? Does it like... Does this transform? Excluding textures and crown, I can't mind. Ionia. Uh, that's a Sajani. Get Sajani 3. I do have to sell the Karma. It is much better. Death by Grasp, Zaya. Let her all at the start. Get okay, extra damage, whatever. Vanquisher. I'll put in Silke when I get Silke. Three. I mean, it's worth. I have to start dying for I'm so close to these other three stars. Zaya <laughs> I mean, she's Zaya 3. She better fucking carry me. If she doesn't carry me, then everything's wrong with this world. Why this is always so scary? Alright. Honestly, I'm scared of like bitches going Cassante and knocking my Sajani out. Wasn't this easy Z person the one that got 3 star Mordekaiser into a 3 star Zia? This side damage. This is why we sold the Karma! Karma can't do this. I mean, I do think that What the Forge did help a lot. The What the Forge really helped my Sajani tank for days. 
I don't even give a shit about Kama anymore, like, in fact, Kama. Uh... It's fucking over for them, bitch. It's fucking over for them. <laughs> you know what? Matcha progress kinda A, not gonna lie. Matcha progress kinda A. I'm getting YouTube shorts or something. TikTok? Hello, TikTok? <laughs> Maybe I should make some TikToks. Oh, wow. The golden ticket A with Matcha progress. I knew I was gonna get a lot of value from it. You slay queen, I better fucking get my points back like down. What the fuck is that? Uh, I have a tax beam? How did she get five attack beam? God, and ticket never wasn't enough, like apparently it's not. <laughs> Silker 3? I lost 39. Oh my god. What lobby is this? What is this lobby? LP wise. What does Silker 3 do? Just extra damage. Every 4 cost is like the same ability, just extra damage or whatever. There isn't like something transformative about them, like 5 costs. I think the coolest one is Heimerding a 4 star. Have you guys seen Heimerding a 4 star? Four cycles of Yordles. Like he puts down a turret, or his turret shoots out Heimdinger bombs, grenade, and Heimdinger himself just dances. Like he doesn't even auto attack, he just dances. And the turret just shoots out like grenades that stun and like one shot everything. I've already lost a Silk Eye 3. You, need, you still need like a front line with him. Well, I think this is GG for me. I win. There's no way I lose this, right? If I lose this, this game is fake. Cassanti fades their OP. If, you, if they get like QSS, does that mean like. Do you know who I think was actually the strongest th three. 3 star 5 cost, it was Galio, the the um, socialite Galio, because he was um, a whatever that cost a 2, two thing, like, he was like a titan or whatever, colossus, so he couldn't get CC'd, you can't stun him, and he just jumps up one shots the whole board, like you can't miss with Galio and you can't CC him, like he literally just was the strongest. Saraka. Um. Heals you back to 100. But you can crowd control her, is a thing. You could still lose. Right? Like, I mean, she saves your HP, sure, I guess. Just like dodge. Just move your units, I guess. Oh, he was over Cassante three. Oh, he had eight Cassantes. I fear I could have lost that. Maybe. Holy shit! I thank God I was even watching thirty four. Right, thirty four fucking LP. 